Hello everyone and welcome to episode 104 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. This week I'm going to be modeling gaming consoles because if you check in the Infancia Discord server Arvid has kindly put another weekly challenge up, of course he does that all the time and I'm not very good at joining them but I'm joining this one and he's going to be angry at me once again because I'm going to model it and I'm probably not going to submit it because I don't want to cheat, I don't want to like send it into my own competition. So, well, it's not really a competition, but it's, uh, you know what I mean. Anyway, I'm uh, going to go with the flow and I'm going to model myself as many gaming consoles through the history as I can. I'll just look at a reference image and then I'll just go one by one by one. I'll make low poly consoles and we'll see how far I get in 10 minutes. So it's just going to be visually representing the consoles. The dimensions won't be correct. They might not even look, well, you should, hopefully you should be able to recognize from a distance what console it would be, but all the buttons not going to be there. The proportions are going to be a little bit off, but hopefully you should be able to recognize the console anyway. That's my goal for this one, and uh, everything's breaking apart right next to me. I've got my microphone stand here. All the treads on the thing, on the knob, or whatever it's called, the treads are gone. So it's like literally hanging onto the side here, and I refuse to buy stuff uh, that I don't need. So I'm going to like try to uh, just stick it out, and maybe I can, I don't know, just I'll, I'll fix it somehow. My keyboard is breaking down. So I've got two zero keys here. One fell off. I ordered a new one from eBay for five dollars. Turns out I didn't check what switch it was, so I've got the wrong switch, of course. Doesn't fit, and my control key isn't working, so sometimes I press control, doesn't register. And my left arrow key is double-clicking, so I'm in a lot of trouble here now. So hopefully, you know, I rely on the keyboard shortcuts, so we'll see how this goes. Of course, I could order myself a new keyboard. The problem is I'm so used to the Swedish keyboard layout, and I looked on the Australian website here and weirdly, they don't stock Swedish keyboards. So I'd have to ship one from Sweden, which would uh, take forever and cost forever. Hmm. That's not a measurement of time, is it? But it'll take forever and it'll cost. I'm going to stick to forever. That was a loud noise from upstairs now. Nearly everyone's asleep. Anyway, so let's get cracking. I'm going to start. Uh, so on my right side of my screen here, if you see me looking over, I've got a little reference image here. Just I googled uh, just like reference images of consoles and I'm going to start with a Magnavox Odyssey from 1972 and I'm just going to go through the history and see how far we get. I'm just going to make sure I'm recording because sometimes I don't do that which sucks because then I have to redo everything. It looks like I'm recording because one time I recorded everything in thumbnail size and you can't upload it in thumbnail size. No AI in the world would be able to rescale that up and make it look decent so anyway let's get cracking let's uh, get these consoles rolling shall we? So. I've got uh, my trusted uh, telephone here, also breaking apart. I had to change the charger on it, that's fixed, and uh, eyesight's breaking down. Can't really do much about that, but a pair of glasses would be good. Got the timer, that's not breaking down. 10 minutes on the clock, and everything's loaded, everything's good. We've got screencast keys, yeah. Here we go, gaming consoles in three, two, one, start, and we're off. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna shift space. So this is the Magnavos Odyssey, Magnavox Odyssey, and it's pretty simple. So I'm just gonna do it like that, and then I'm actually gonna start. I'll just duplicate that for the next console. So what's the Magnavox like? I'll, okay, so it's got some sort of a black thing here, scale on the y-axis there. I don't know. Uh, it's flatter anyway, that's for sure. So let's move it down to there, and it's got some weird edge here. So let's open Control R, Control R for loop cut. And here, I don't know, it looks like it's going up a little bit. E to extrude, and it's got some weird slant there, and it looks like it's going down here again. So E to extrude that on. Just colorize that black. Everything else should be white here, so let's just go there. And it's got some, it seems to have a lot more slant here. So let's, yeah, let's move that. And then it's got some indentation here. Just select to there. And should we do I to inset? Alt E to extrude long face normals and make that black. So I'm just going to leave it like that. That was a minute. So let's go for the. Oh, okay. It needs to be black at the bottom. So uh, this is taking longer than I thought, actually. So that's going to do. And now it's the Atari VCS to 2600. So let's go Shift D to duplicate that one because I'll need it for my next console. I've got good faith that I'll make another one. E to extrude. And we'll make this one black on the left side there and then loads of little lines here so let's just uh, do control r control r control r scale on the y-axis and then here let's put loads of uh, just select these two here and right click and do subdivide and let's just scroll this up to as much as possible 10 okay that'll do 
I to inset, I to inset again, and E to extrude. And then here, it's just got some raised thing here. It's got some I to inset. It doesn't have I to inset, but I'm gonna make a little space for the cartridge here. So it's a bit too dark for my liking, but never mind. And it's got some uh, whatever knobs this is. Well, that's not square, is it? S -s scale. I oh, I've already spent more than I, I thought I was gonna spend one minute on each console, so. I'm already like past that. Shift D to duplicate, Shift D to duplicate. And it's got, well, one thing that makes it all complete here now is that it should have a like a wood front here. So let's just move that on out. I to inset and Alt D to extrude and then make it wood. All right, so that's it. Next one is uh, I'm gonna do in television. What kind of a weird contraption is this here? From 1980, okay, so. Move it down, E to extrude. And what is this thing? Who came up with this design? It looks like some, I don't know, S to scale there on the Y, X axis apparently. And it's got some, okay, we need to make it wood. They were big on wood back in the day. I've got wood. <laughs> Sounds weird, can't say that. Uh, I to inset, Alt E to extrude long face normals. Uh, go black there. And then it's got some weird cylinders here. So right click, subdivide. Got our trusted loop tool set on, so we'll do circle, make a square circle, always my favorite. And then E to extrude, L to select that on. It's gonna be some sort of a gold color, it's too big. And there we go, scale Z, uh, shift D to duplicate. And what is this? Why do you make them so complicated? Should be like these days where it's super simple. I should have started more modern, shouldn't I? So E to extrude, whatever. Uh, also some gold color should have been the same but never mind and there we go and these are too big so l l period individual origins scale them down move them down and l l okay and these are too far and that's why l l l to select the linked l to select linked i should speak more this is not a tutorial but i want to try to help anyway so here we'll do i to inset scale on the y-axis scale it down E to extrude, and here's some, okay, final thing on this one. E, I to inset. Criminal offense side eye for uh, whoever designed that thing. That's hideous. Okay, so here, 539. God, so far behind here. So, apologize for anyone who's expecting spectacles. Well, spectacles, that's glasses, isn't it? E to extrude. Uh, L to select the linked black. This is the Collecto Vision. Okay, a creative name. Sounds like they were trying to rip each other off. Uh, Whoa, 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 what's going on here? I to inset. This looks more like a VCR, if anything. Uh, scale, Z. Okay, I've got proportional on it. This guy, I'll blame the keyboard. There. And then we've got a couple of knobs here. So right click, subdivide, circle, scale it down. I love that way to do it. What are these? This look like a pinball machine joystick thing. So we've got E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, whatever these things are. That's criminal as well. I hate them. I hate that design. I don't know why. Uh, control R and Control R. Not rotate, no. I to inset, E to extrude. And then why do you have loads of little buttons here now? That'll, it's gonna take forever for me to do. G on the left there. Uh, and then it's four. How am I doing? 428. Why is time, time going so fast? Three, shift R there to duplicate, that's pretty handy. Shift D to duplicate. One, two, three, four, five, whatever. That's gonna be okay. And then here we'll do I to inset scale on the Y axis. You'll have to look these up on the internet yourself after, I guess. Um, so you can compare and see what, if I did a decent job or not. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave this one just like this soon. I to inset again, scale. Oh no, I'll just shift D to duplicate that on. Scale X axis and E to extrude and whatever that is. Is that where you stick the cartridge? I don't know. All right, so now it's the first time I actually had myself. So the NES uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, Shift D, if, just in case I make another one. It, now we're like into simpler domains. Whoa, okay. scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, Control R. Thank you for making this a little bit easier and this should be recognizable hopefully. So Control R and here, make that a little bit grayer and the bottom here and the bottom here i guess bottom a lot of buttons a bit darker g on the left side move it to there and then i don't know let's just make 
I mean, theoretically, this could be done, but let's just put the where the logo is. So, and there we go. Well, I don't know, three minutes. Need to extrude. That's a thick logo. G. Right, that's it. And then we'll move to the next one, which is the Sega Genesis. So Shift D to duplicate that one. Then put the buttons on that one, but never mind. This one no, was a little bit narrower, apparently. So E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude. I should have started with these. These are a lot simpler. So here. Well, I say that and then this weird design comes along. So uh, let's just do uh, right click, subdivide, I to inset maybe. And then I'll do circle there. Does that work? Yeah. Uh, move it up. I to inset, E to extrude. Test the scale, I don't know, that looks weird, but never mind. Control, or I'll just move this one. It doesn't look exactly the same, but never mind. It's probably too thick as well, but. And then I'll do uh, I to inset, maybe. So S to scale on the y-axis, and this one needs to be sorted out. Let's move it to there, and then E to extrude, S to scale. And then here's where that logo, this is too, too small, too big, I don't know. Scale. Oh, never mind. I'm going to leave it like that. Let's go for it. Well, I've got two minutes to go, so that's apparently the... Well, okay, we'll just put the logo here as well. Shift D. There we go. And it's too wide. Scale Y. X. Y. Come on. G. That's it. And now we'll do for the Super Nintendo uh, 1990. That was SNES. Shift D, just in case I make another one, but this might be the last one I can do. Scale on the x-axis, E to extrude, thank you for making this pretty simple as well. Control R, loop cut there, Street Fighter 2. I bought this console exclusively for that game. Then I returned it on warrant, not on warranty, on because it changed my mind. That was when I was studying in the US, Connecticut. University of, no, 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 high school in uh, stores. All right, never mind. I shouldn't talk at the same time. Scale, why? Oh, okay, it's because I've got individual origins, so. This is wasting time, period, medium point, scale, y-axis, there we go. And here's where the, con like the cartridge goes, is it? E to extrude, and then here's weirdo, control R, there. And then, okay, this is failing a little bit. 44 seconds, so this is gonna be the last console that I do. So let's make, spend a little bit of extra time on it then. Can even put the, maybe the console ports down here. Or you plugged in the controllers, if I remember it correctly. So I to inset, E to extrude, Go black there, and here, E to extrude. These were purple, apparently. Couldn't remember that. There we go. And I should select all of those, scale on the x-axis. 18 seconds to go. I'm not gonna make another one, so let's see. These need to be a little bit whiter, all the way down to there, there, to there, 11 seconds. There we go, white, and the logo. Height inset and go a little bit gray there, scale. That's it. Hmm. Where's the dismiss button? There. Okay, how many did I do? We should name them as well. One, I thought I was gonna be 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven consoles. That doesn't matter. I've heard somewhere that uh, odd numbers on YouTube videos is better than 10. So seven consoles in 10 minutes. Maybe that sounds better. Let's name them as well then. I'll separate them into their own here. So let's separate L, 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 L. L selects the linked. It's really handy when it's all, because all of these are in the same object now. So L, linked, 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 linked. P, separate by selection. L, 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 Oh, these are a pain. Alt Z, box select, control plus, I'll do as well. P, separate by selection. Okay, now I'll just do this instead. P, separate by selection. I know you can separate by loose parts as well, but actually these have loose parts within them, so I'll just do that. Here we go, Alt Z, and then here we're gonna name them Magna Vox Odyssey. 1972. That was before I was born even. F2, we've got the Atari VCS 2600. Uh, 1977. I was two years old. This is a quiz now for you guys. How old am I? Intellivision 1980. I rented this one, I think. This hideous contraption from uh, a video store once. Or my dad did. Let's see. We've got the Col 
Collecto Vision. I think I saw a documentary where they actually ripped that one off. And I think they got sued for it as well. Collecto Vision 1982. But I might be way off. And then we've got the Nintendo Entertainment System 1983. I was seven. Eight. I was eight. And then we have the F2, no, uh, Sega Genesis 1988. We've got up there now. And we've got the Super Nintendo Entertainment System no, 1990. So those are the ones I managed to do. Uh, well, we've got a little collection here anyway. Let's move them. Should I have them on a line like this? Yeah, let's keep them like that. So that's it. I missed a few, but that's okay. All right, folks, there we go. I managed to do seven consoles in 10 minutes, and I bet you you can actually beat me if you try. So why don't you jump into the Discord, link in the description, and join the weekly modeling challenge and model yourself either some consoles, maybe you want to add some controllers as well, see what you can do. And if you don't like the 10-minute limit, just skip that one and just model. This is a pretty good practice because it's pretty basic stuff. You just extrude. S to scale, control R for some loop cuts and I to inset and stuff like that. So go have some fun and model yourself some consoles. Pretty good. I hope you enjoyed this episode and uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you back here next Thursday for another video and we'll see if it's going to be episode 105 of the 10 minute modeling challenge or if we'll squeeze in some Unity stuff. I'm trying to balance things. It's a little bit difficult to run a channel that's a little bit mixture because if I post Blender stuff, I get some questions like, oh, when's the next Unity thing coming? And if I do Unity stuff, People are asking, well, I came here for Blender, and if I mention AI... I lose 50 subscribers, so I'll probably stay away from that a little bit. <laughs> but there's a few things about AI that I actually want to teach, because I'm using... Uh, okay, I'm going to lose subscribers, I'm not going to say. I'll save that for another video, shall I? And then I'll accept losing some uh, subscribers on that one, because there are a few things that I actually find that it's really useful for. I've used it, for example, to create... Some Do you know what? I'm not even going to say it. I don't want to lose subscribers. Stay subscribed and I won't mention AI for now. Okay. How, how's that sound? Deal? All right. <laughs> All right, folks, hit the thumbs up if you like the video. Give it a like. That's the same thing. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week for another episode of something. See you then and bye for now.